Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of February 2021. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Also Virgo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, okay? All right, let me explain you the format of this reading. I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person that you are dealing with, that you are thinking about. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards. They will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Thereafter, I'm going to pull some cards from a different deck and they will represent the general messages, the non-love messages for you and your person, Virgo. Okay, later on, we'll see what are the messages from your higher powers, from your ancestors, from the universe, okay? Uh, we'll conclude this reading by pulling out one single card, which will be the likely uh, conclusion for the given situation, okay? All right, Virgo, let's get started. Hmm. Cards are flying out, huh? So we have seven of cups for you. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords. For your person, Star, Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. Mutual Energy is Three of Cups. The Lovers, interesting. Okay. So as far as the zodiac signs are concerned, you may be dealing with the Gemini, Aquarius, particularly, okay? You may also be dealing with Libra. Otherwise, I see a strong uh, water sign presence over here as well. So you may be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Hmm. Virgo, so we have Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Knight, Knight of Swords. Hmm. <clears throat> Virgo, I believe that you're too burdened with this existing relationship. Okay, you're too burdened. Uh, this relationship, even after separation this relationship is kind of bogging you down it's kind of pulling you down okay it's weighing very uh, heavy on your heart that's what i'm getting okay and yes uh, let's not deny that there is a potential to grow but you know what what i feel over here is like if you are putting 2000 percent from your end you're getting something as five percent as a return okay so even if there is, uh, you know, look at look at the proportion. You're putting 2,000 uh, as your efforts and your return is only 5%. So even if there is a potential to grow, it's too much of a work for you. Okay, it's too much of a work. And finally, you are so tired of putting work into that. Okay, it drained you so much. And it was your own, own like, you know, it, it was only you who was working towards this relationship. Okay, this person was not putting any kind of efforts. This person may be dealing with other options because they were too confident, like, ah, work was putting the work. I did not put any work. Okay, I'll deal with other options till that time. They thought that Virgo will never leave me and I'll enjoy with other options. Okay, but you are like, fine, if you have options, you're treating me as an option, I better make your life simple, okay? I'll reduce your options, okay? So you will have less number of choices and, uh, you know, life will be easier for you and that's why you left this person, okay? 
uh, I also see that Virgo at the given moment you may also be having certain options for you so you're dwelling on the fact of what you need to do whether you need to wait for your person whether you need to move on but finally I believe that you did wait for this person for a very very long period of time and now you're tired of waiting you're tired of waiting and you're giving up on this relationship and you are walking away i mean that you're already in separation but even energetically now you are cutting off the cords okay and you are like let me try and discover the options at my hand maybe something nice will come in my life because i see that there are many options some of them are good some of them are not and one is a very uh i'll say a genius option or one is the the one option among all these options is one is the one for you okay so but that's that's a task you will have to understand so to know which option is for you uh, you know for you meant for you you will have to check out all the options only then after only after that you will know that this option is for you or this person is for you okay so if you're thinking like you know Oh, I'm having options. Am I cheating on my person? No, don't at all think like that, okay? You did give this person a lot of time and attention, a lot of energy and a lot of chances. You were always there for them. But they couldn't recognize that, right? They couldn't value what you're doing, Virgo, right? So checking out options is, you know, don't feel guilty about it. And what I'm feeling is this person has some energetic control over you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Even as of now, this person has some energetic control over you. You want to go ahead and drop the burden of this relationship. The moment you decide to do that, this person is going to rush back. Okay. As far as your person is concerned, the star, the uh, four of swords and ace of cups. Of course, now that you are not there, this person is realizing your value, right? They are understanding how much work Virgo was putting. And I was like, I was not required to put any kind of work because everything was done by Virgo. And it was a cake for a cakewalk for me because Virgo was putting the efforts, okay? And now that Virgo has gone away, they are feeling like their life support has gone, okay? Probably this person had become extremely codependent on you and uh, they were thriving on you they were thriving on your energy they were doing good for themselves because they were thriving on your energy for some of you this person was an energy vampire but now that you're gone this person is realizing your value they are realize they are in fact what i'm feeling is they have fallen in love with you all over again they want to have this new beginning with you so this person may be manipulative, they may be control freak or something like that. But now they are realizing their mistake, Virgo. They are realizing their mistake. But they know that they will have to give up their lifestyle if they have to come towards you. This person probably has a lifestyle, not so healthy lifestyle. This person may be addicted to something, may be addicted to drinking or smoking. This person may be addicted to getting into some, you know... <sighs> probably some uh I'm, I'm getting flirtatious vibes from this person virgo okay so this person has a habit of checking out other people checking out the options and they know that uh you know they cannot have this they cannot keep this uh retain this lifestyle anymore okay if they have to come towards you they will have to come very honest i'm feeling that this person is doing good professionally Mutual energies out of three of cups and the lovers. You are past life soulmates, Virgo. You are past life soulmates and that is why this is such a strong connection. I believe in 2020 or even starting from 2019, many past life soulmates or twin flames came together. Okay, and many of them are going through separation right now. Especially the twin flames. Okay, this twin flame... Uh, coming together of twin flames started in 2018 and 2019 itself okay and now you people are in separation right now okay uh the separation separation usually happens in a twin flame relationship i'm getting that some of you are not just past life soulmates some uh you are both soulmates and twin flames also and that's why there is this runner and chaser relationship okay but both of you want to experience that love all over again okay 
you you Virgo may be consciously maybe subconsciously you want this person back though you intend to drop the burden of this relationship and walk away because it was too much of a work for you but if this person comes back right I believe that you would be okay to talk with them or you would be okay to entertain them that's what I'm getting okay I don't see a situation where you are going to reject them even without listening to them you are going to like push them away even without hearing what they want to say okay <sighs> because look at the end of the day you invested so much time and energy so you don't want to you don't want that feeling that you know i wasted so much of time and energy on this person i wish this would have this relationship would have worked out okay so like you know if they come back if they come back in the right manner you would be okay to entertain them as far as that person is concerned they definitely intend to come back okay and they are rushing back with a knight of swords right what are the general messages for you and your person Virgo? what are the general messages for you and your person elephant seven of swords judgment uh for your person seven of wands four of swords ace of cups again for this person oh my god this person is really in love with you okay we have ace of cups again for them so they definitely intend to come back towards you virgo okay so yeah with that hierophant card seven of swords and judgment what i'm getting is some of you are going back to the school some of you are taking up some online courses or something i am getting that you are making efforts to enhance your skill set so it may be a long term or a short term course that you are doing some of you are going back to the school and college and doing some master's degree or something like that some of you are doing getting into higher higher education some of you are trying to commercialize your ideas that you have you have some on you have certain ideas you want to do your online blogging vlogging uh, some of you are very good writers you are writing a book okay you people have got very intense life experiences you want to convert those experiences into a written format you are writing a book regarding your uh, life experiences just be careful someone out there is there to steal your ideas okay just be careful from that person and you will be given uh, red flags you will be shown red flags when this person is in and around you or this person is about to enter in your life okay there will be red flags uh, that will be shown to you so just be alert uh, with a judgment card i'm getting that you are trying to free yourself from certain things Maybe you're trying to free yourself from this past relationship, from this past person. You're trying to free yourself. Are you changing homes? Are you getting relocated somewhere else so that you, you know, you leave everyone behind? I see that there are these intentions that you don't want any of your past people in your life. At the moment, at least. You want some isolation. You know, you are trying to get into that energy of trying to rest and rejuvenate yourself. And that's why you definitely want to isolate yourself. Okay. You're also, some of you are also going far away from family and friends. Some of you are leaving social media. That's what I'm getting. Uh, yeah, for your person, seven of wands, four of swords and ace of cups. This person is also trying to protect themselves from something, by the way. Uh, I don't know what, but I, f I believe that they are trying to protect themselves from someone. Maybe this person had wrong circle of friends and they are feeling stuck without you. I told you, right? This person is extremely codependent on you. They want to come back towards you. They will come back with a sorry and apology and they will be like, just be careful when they come back uh, because you know you need to feel right when they are coming back i am also feeling that they're they're building something for themselves maybe a house or something okay there are certain new starts and new beginnings in this person's life virgo so what are the general messages what are the general messages uh what are the messages 
from the higher powers regarding this connection? What are the messages from the higher powers regarding this connection? Yeah, strategy. This person is strategizing. Even you people are strategizing certain things as far as your career and profession is concerned. You are strategizing your uh, your future life. Yeah, journal. Journal log. I told you, right? You people are writing down something. I'm getting this energy of you people writing down something. Maybe a book or maybe a blog or you are journaling your daily activities or something like that. You're strategizing something or probably you're setting goals for your 2021. Okay, you have certain dreams. Yes, you are going to achieve your dreams. Blossoming abundance. Abundance is coming your way, Taurus. Sorry, Virgo. Okay. Right. So what are the messages? What are the messages from the universe for Virgo? What are the messages from the universe for Virgo? What are the messages from the universe? let me flip them right hmm love is never in vain if you're thinking you wasted your time don't think that okay because you've learned a lot okay you have escalated your way of life a lot you are being watched by your loving eyes someone is watching you they chose you i told you right they had options and they are choosing you you will be surprised some surprises are coming your way probably someone is going to stand outside your door and be like what what the fuck <laughs> what are you doing here that's how you're gonna be like turn on your love light you have that charm within you turn on that okay there is a deeper reason for each of your questions if you are having so many questions in your mind like why this relationship happened what was the purpose was it fated and this and that you have all the answers within you okay seek those answers start where you are okay if you're planning to start certain things writing them in a book a blog or a vlog or become a tarot card reader or anything okay going back to the school just start it love is a reason so whatever is happening in your life love is a reason for that what are the messages from the ancestors what are the messages from the ancestors what are the messages from the ancestors for virgo and their person earth guardian stay rooted and stay grounded okay even if you experience a lot of it, you are on the verge of experiences experiencing success and abundance stay grounded and rooted unlock the magic within you're a magician okay you can manifest big things in your life that's what i'm getting okay there are some there is a fated success that's written for you people whosoever is watching this okay what is the likely conclusion ace of wands a new passionate beginning for some of you Okay, now take how this resonates. For some of you, this person is going to come back. You're going to accept them. For some of you, I believe that uh, for some of you, there is this strong, uh, you know, need to give up on this relationship and find something new and better. So probably this is a new beginning with someone new in your life. So it's 50-50. Some of you are going to go back to your person. Some of you are going to find a new person. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonates. Please hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. Till then, bye.